Travels in Europe, which is a podcast series that contributes facts and travel tips as inspiration for city breaks and weekend getaways in Europe. This episode's destination is first truly experienced, after which the podcast episode is organized and narrated in an original Danish podcast series called City Breaks Europa by me, Torben Wollengård at One Air. Voiceover translation to English is completed with the help of TTS AI software, simply to save time and focus on creating new episodes. Enjoy! Episode 3. Wales aka Cymru. Summary. What to expect in this episode. This episode begins with some facts about Wales, followed by a summary of the country's history. Then follows a more detailed journey through Wales history, which ends with the modern times and the Welsh government. Furthermore, tourism today is described, and it concludes with a summary of nine travel tips and attractions in Wales. Finally, it is revealed which destination in Wales we will dive into in the next episode of this podcast series. This episode is dedicated to my youngest daughter, Josephine. Facts about Wales Wales is a country located in the western part of Great Britain, bordered by England to the east, the Atlantic Ocean and the Irish Sea to the west, and the Bristol Channel to the south. Wales is a part of both the United Kingdom, aka UK, and Great Britain. The United Kingdom is a political union made up of four countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Together, these countries form a sovereign state, with a shared system of governance and a monarch as the head of state. On the other hand, Great Britain is a geographical term that refers to the largest island in the British Isles, which includes England, Scotland, and Wales. Area The total area of Wales is 20,735 square kilometres, aka 8,023 square miles. Population Wales had a population of around 3.1 million people in 2021. Capital Cardiff is the capital and the largest city in Wales, with a population of 362,310 in 2021. Languages Welsh, aka Simridge, and English are de jure official languages of the Welsh Parliament, the Senedd. Welsh is spoken by about 20% of the population, and is more commonly spoken in the north and west of the country. Currency The currency used in Wales is the pound sterling, abbreviated as GBP. Like the rest of the United Kingdom, the currency is divided into pounds and pence. The notes used are five pounds, ten pounds, twenty pounds, and fifty pounds. The coins used are one, two, five, ten, twenty, fifty pence, one pound, and two pounds. Summary Historical Timeline of Wales Wales has a rich and fascinating history that dates back to prehistoric times. The country is known for its Celtic roots, which have contributed to its unique language, culture, and traditions. Over the centuries, Wales has faced many challenges, such as invasions from the Romans and Normans. Despite these obstacles, Wales has managed to maintain its identity through its literature, music, and art. During the Middle Ages, Wales experienced a tumultuous history. In the early part of this era, Wales was divided into small kingdoms that were frequently at war with each other. However, in 1282, King Edward I of England conquered Wales and established English rule over the country. Today, Wales is known for its stunning landscapes and vibrant cities like Cardiff and Swansea. Yet Wales is also celebrated for producing some of the world's most talented actors, musicians, poets, and writers, like Dylan Thomas, 1914-1953, and Richard Walter Jenkins Jr., aka Richard Burton, 1925-1984. The legacy of Welsh culture can be felt far beyond the borders of this small country, with Welsh communities thriving in places like Patagonia, in Argentina. By preserving their native language, aka Simridge, alongside English as an official language in Wales since 1993, future generations will be able to celebrate their cultural heritage for years to come. The legacy of Wales will continue to inspire people around the world as a rich tapestry woven by old myths mixed with modern innovation. In the following, the history of Wales is told in a more detailed version. Prehistoric Times 
Wales has a long history, with evidence of human habitation dating back to 230,000 BCE, according to archaeological sites. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens were prevalent during the prehistoric era in Wales. These early human populations were hunters and gatherers who left behind tools, weapons, and cave paintings as a record of their presence. Invading Celtic tribes from Central Europe introduced new knowledge of agriculture, trade, and bronzeworking during the Bronze Age. The Celtic Britons lived in Wales until the Romans began conquering the country in 43 CE. Wales, which was a part of Roman Britannia, became a centre for the lead, copper, silver, and gold industries. The Romans also built roads that connected Wales to other parts of Britain. After Rome was overthrown in 410 CE, Germanic tribes like the Angles and Saxons entered Wales and established their kingdoms in England. Medieval Times During the Middle Ages, Wales experienced a tumultuous history. In the early part of this era, Wales was divided into small kingdoms that were frequently at war with each other. However, in 1282, King Edward I of England conquered Wales and established English rule over the country. Despite this, Welsh identity remained strong, and rebellions against English rule were frequent throughout the medieval period. Many famous Welsh leaders emerged during this time, including Owain Glinja, who led a rebellion against English rule in the early 15th century. Despite ongoing unrest, Wales became an important centre of commerce during the Middle Ages due to its vast natural resources, such as coal and iron. The country also produced fine woolen cloth that was highly prized by the European nobility. The Welsh language flourished during this time as well. However, it was not until the late Middle Ages that written literature began to emerge in Welsh. Throughout the Middle Ages, Wales remained largely isolated from European cultural advancements due to its political instability and remote location. Nevertheless, this period played a crucial role in shaping Welsh identity and culture, which persist to this day. From medieval time until before the Industrial Revolution. Wales experienced economic difficulty throughout the centuries that followed as a result of things like bad crops and unstable political conditions. This caused a large number of Welsh people to emigrate, in pursuit of employment and a better life, to other regions of Britain or beyond. Welsh language usage suffered during this period as English took over in government documents and the classroom. In the 16th century, Wales became part of England under King Henry VIII's reign. Despite this union, however, Welsh identity remained strong. The Industrial Revolution By the time of the Industrial Revolution in the late 18th century, Wales had become a major centre for coal mining and iron production, which helped fuel Britain's growing industrial revolution during the 18th and 19th centuries. This brought about significant changes in Welsh society including an influx of workers from other parts of Britain who settled in communities around the mines and factories. Despite these changes, traditional Welsh culture continued to thrive alongside industrialisation throughout this period. By the late 19th century, Wales had become a major industrial powerhouse with booming mining and steel industries. However, this success came at a cost, as working conditions for miners were often dangerous and unhealthy. During World War I, the first decade of the 20th century was a period of political, social, and industrial unrest throughout Europe. Despite this unrest, the First World War was generally welcomed in Wales. In the national referendum of September 1914, the Welsh electorate voted in favour of the United Kingdom's entry into the European War. The outbreak of war and the subsequent Russian Revolution in 1917 led to a crisis within the UK government concerning its support for Russia. This led to a strengthening of the Welsh nationalist movement and a surge in support for an independent Wales. The end of World War I brought about a surge in nationalism, with many Welsh people demanding greater autonomy for their nation. You are listening to City Breaks in Europe, a podcast series covering facts and travel tips as inspiration for City Breaks and vegan getaways in Europe. Interwar period. The interwar period in Wales was marked by significant changes in the social and economic landscape of the country. Economically, Wales struggled during this period due to the decline of traditional industries such as coal mining. However, there were also some positive developments, such as growth in manufacturing and an increase in tourism. The construction of new roads and railways made it easier for visitors to explore Wales' natural beauty spots. 
Overall, the interwar period was a time of both challenge and opportunity for Wales. Despite economic struggles, there were also important gains made on both political and cultural fronts that would shape the future direction of the country. During World War II During World War II, Wales played a significant role in the war effort. The country's coal mines and steelworks were essential to the production of weapons, ammunition, and other supplies needed by the Allied forces. Welsh ports also served as important hubs for shipping materials and personnel to the front lines. In addition to its industrial contributions, Wales also supplied troops to fight in various battles throughout the war. Welsh soldiers fought bravely in major conflicts such as Dunkirk, El Alamein, and Normandy. Many of these soldiers made great sacrifices, with over 11,000 losing their lives during the war. The impact of World War II on Wales was significant, both economically and socially. While its contributions helped secure a victory for the Allies, many communities suffered from job losses and economic struggles after the conflict ended. However, Wales emerged from this period with a renewed sense of national identity and pride in its role as a key player in one of history's defining moments. The post-war period During the post-war period in Wales, the country saw significant changes and transformations. The end of World War II marked a time of rebuilding for Wales as well as the rest of the United Kingdom. Industries such as coal mining and steel production, which played a crucial role in the Welsh economy, saw considerable growth during this period. The 1940s also saw the establishment of the National Health Service, aka NHS, in Wales, which provided universal health care to all citizens. This was a pivotal moment in history that brought about major improvements in public health. Additionally, there were significant developments in education during this era, with access to education becoming more widely available. However, it was not all smooth sailing for Wales during this period. The country faced economic challenges and social unrest as it struggled to find its place in a rapidly changing world. Despite these challenges, Wales emerged from the post-war period stronger than ever before and continued to make important contributions to UK culture and society over subsequent decades. Modern Times from post-war until today, Wales has undergone significant changes that have shaped its present form. The end of World War II marked the beginning of a new era in Wales. As the country emerged from the destruction and devastation inflicted by war, the economy was in shambles and many communities were struggling to rebuild their lives. The 1950s saw significant industrial growth in Wales, with coal mining and steel production at their peak. However, it was not sustainable, and by the 1980s, many mines had closed down due to competition from cheaper imports. This led to high unemployment rates in areas that were dependent on these industries. In recent years, there has been a shift towards service-based industries such as technology and finance. This has brought about opportunities for innovation and entrepreneurship among young people who are keen to explore new ideas. Despite these developments, there are still challenges facing Wales, such as poverty, inequality and political uncertainty following Brexit. Overall, though, modern times have seen significant progress driven by hard work and determination from the Welsh people. Wales has a diverse economy, with agriculture and manufacturing being the largest sectors, followed by service sectors. Agriculture is predominantly sheep farming, but there are also cattle farms, duck farms, and dairy farms. Today, Wales remains an integral part of the United Kingdom but also maintains its unique identity through language, culture, and tradition. The Welsh Government Wales is a country with its own system of governance, which means that it has a unique government compared to that of the British government. The Welsh Government is responsible for all segments of policy, including health, education, and the environment, among others. The Welsh Government is led by the Prime Minister, who is appointed by the King upon appointment to the Welsh Assembly. The Welsh Assembly, also known as the Senedd, is made up of 60 members of the Senedd, aka MS who are elected every five years by a system of proportional representation. In addition to the Welsh Government, Wales is also represented in the UK Parliament at Westminster by 40 deputies. The UK Government retains responsibility for areas such as foreign affairs, defence, and immigration, among others. Since 1999, when the Welsh Assembly was established, Wales has had increasing control over its affairs, including the ability to legislate on some matters. The devolved system of governance in Wales has allowed for greater representation and decision-making power for the people of Wales, 
ensuring that policies and laws are tailored to the specific needs and interests of the country. Tourism Today With millions of tourists arriving each year to discover the nation's rich history, breathtaking landscapes, and thriving cultural scene, tourism is now a sizable industry in Wales. Wales' wide variety of attractions that can accommodate all interests and price ranges has contributed to the country's tremendous growth in the tourism sector over the past 10 years. The nation is home to numerous historic sites that date back many centuries, including the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of Carnarvon Castle and Conwy Castle. Cardiff, the capital city of Wales, has become a must-visit destination due to its vibrant culture and rich history. The city is home to numerous attractions, such as Cardiff Castle, the National Museum of Cardiff, and St. Fagan's National Museum of History. Additionally, visitors can enjoy the Millennium Stadium for sports enthusiasts or explore the beautiful Butte Park for some outdoor relaxation. Landidno, on the other hand, was known as the Queen of Welsh Resorts and retains much of its Victorian charm. The town boasts beautiful beaches and promenades where tourists can take leisurely strolls while enjoying stunning views over Landidno Bay. Furthermore, visitors can visit Great Ormy Country Park and even take a ride on Britain's only cable hall tramway. The magnificent Great Ormy is a spectacular limestone headland that rises to a height of 233 metres, and is one of the most visited tourist destinations in North Wales. Enjoy a visit to St David's, the smallest city in the UK, and take in the spectacular medieval splendour of St David's Cathedral, which is tucked away in a gorgeous coastal location. By visiting places like the Big Pit National Coal Museum or Blainavarn Ironworks, visitors can also learn about their industrial past. Wales is also the location of several magnificent natural treasures, including Snowdonia National Park and Brecon Beacons National Park, which provide visitors with beautiful views, outdoor recreation opportunities, such as lovely hiking paths, and exhilarating outdoor adventures. The coastlines provide breathtaking views, wonderful animals, and a diverse array of aquatic life. Explore the wonders of nature as sharks glide beneath the surface, whales breach in the distance, and turtles bask in the warm currents as dolphins gracefully dance in the waves. Explore well-known coastal regions like Cardigan Bay, Pembrokeshire, or the Isle of Anglesey for the best chances of seeing these amazing creatures. Wales has a lively cultural scene with many festivals and events all year round honouring the Welsh language, music, literature, food, and drink, in addition to these conventional tourist attractions. Traditional folk music festivals and contemporary art shows are both available to visitors. Overall, tourism is a crucial component of the Welsh economy since it creates jobs for locals and gives visitors from around the globe access to this distinctive culture. Wales is available to visitors and is a veritable treasure mine of history, scenic beauty, and vibrant culture. Prepare to be mesmerised by historic castles, embrace the grandeur of national parks, delight in cultural celebrations, and create lifelong memories as you travel around this fascinating area. Wales is a unique travel experience where history, environment, and culture all come together. Please remember that a camera is also a great travel companion. Nine Travel Tips in Wales Wales has a rich and fascinating history that is reflected in some of its tourist attractions. 1. Snowdonia National Park This stunning national park is home to the highest mountain in Wales, Snowdon, at an elevation of 1,085 metres above sea level, as well as beautiful lakes and forests, making it a perfect destination for hikers and nature lovers. It is the third most visited attraction in Wales. 2. Cardiff Castle this magnificent castle in the heart of Cardiff dates back to the 11th century and offers a glimpse into Welsh history and architecture. Visitors can explore the castle's many rooms, climb its towers, and enjoy the beautiful gardens. 3. St. Fagan's National Museum of History One of the must-visit places is the St. Fagan's National Museum of History, located in Cardiff. The open-air museum showcases Welsh history and culture with over 40 original buildings from different periods and regions of Wales, including a medieval church, farmhouses, and an ironworker's cottage. 4. Carnarvon Castle This popular attraction was built by Edward I in the late 13th century as both a military stronghold and a royal palace. Located in North Wales on the banks of the Menai Strait, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is one of the best-preserved castles in Europe. Visitors can explore its towers and walls while learning about its role in Welsh history. 5. The Big Pit National Coal Museum The museum offers visitors insight into Wales' industrial past with an underground tour of a former coal mine. Located near Blainavarn in South Wales, 
This living museum allows visitors to experience what working conditions were like for miners during different eras, while learning about their lives above ground. 6. St. David's This charming coastal town in Pembrokeshire is home to the beautiful St. David's Cathedral, as well as plenty of quaint shops and restaurants. 7. The Brecon Mountain Railway This scenic railway takes visitors on a journey through the stunning Brecon Beacons National Park, offering breathtaking views of the mountains and valleys along the way. 8. Landidno. Landidno, a charming seaside resort town in North Wales, is known for its beautiful Victorian architecture and sandy beaches. Landidno offers plenty of exciting places to explore. One of the most popular tourist attractions in the area is the Great Ormy, a limestone headland that provides stunning views of the surrounding coastline. Visitors can take a cable car ride or drive up to the summit, where they will find quaint shops and cafes. Additionally, visitors can learn about local mining traditions at the nearby Great Ormy Mines or visit St. Tudno's Church, one of Wales' oldest churches, which dates back to 700 CE. Another must-see destination in Landidno is the Victorian-era pier, which stretches out into the Irish Sea and offers breathtaking views of the town's shoreline. Visitors can enjoy ice cream and traditional fish and chips while taking in the sights and sounds of this vibrant location. With so many exciting destinations to explore, Landidno is truly a gem on Wales' beautiful coast. 9. Conwy Castle An impressive medieval fortress located in Conwy, Wales. The castle was built by Edward I when he conquered Wales at the end of the 13th century. The castle is known for its well-preserved walls and towers, which offer stunning views of the surrounding area. Conwy Castle served as a strategic stronghold against Welsh rebels. The castle is a prime example of military architecture from the Middle Ages and has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In addition to its historical significance, Conwy Castle is also known for its impressive height. At 125 feet tall, it is one of the tallest castles in Britain and offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside. Visitors can explore the castle's towers, walls, and gateways to get a sense of what life was like for medieval soldiers defending their territory. In contrast to the grandeur of Conwy Castle, visitors can also see the smallest house in Great Britain, located in Conwy. This house measures just 3.05 metres by 1.8 metres and has two small rooms stacked on top of each other, connected by a steep staircase. Despite its size, this house was once inhabited until 1900, when it was deemed unsuitable for habitation due to its size. These two landmarks are a testament to the rich history of Wales from grand castles built by kings to humble homes that housed everyday people. Visiting both sites provides a unique perspective on Welsh history and daily life in centuries past. These nine travel tips are just some examples of how tourists can delve into Welsh history at its most authentic sites across the nation. It's impossible to visit Wales without experiencing its rich culture. From its bustling cities to the wild countryside, there are so many ways for visitors to experience Welsh culture and meet the locals. This episode's destination is first truly experienced, after which the podcast episode is organized and narrated in an original Danish podcast series called City Breaks in Europa by me, Torben Wollengo at One Ear. Thanks for listening. Please feel welcome to stay tuned for another episode of this podcast series covering facts and travel trips as inspiration for city breaks and weekend getaways in Europe. Remember, life is a journey, not a destination that is permanent. What to expect further about Wales in this podcast series? In this podcast series from One Air. Several episodes are planned with inspiration for travel tips for city breaks and weekend getaways in Wales, and the episodes will currently cover at least the following two exciting destinations, Cardiff and Landidno including Conwy, which are obvious targets for city breaks and weekend getaways. Next episode. Thanks for listening, and please stay tuned for episode 4, with Landidno including Conwy as the topic. This episode. This episode about Wales is dedicated to my beloved Josephine, the youngest daughter who works hard every day to set the stage for a happy family life for six people. Respect. Interested in further information, videos and photos about this destination? Then visit the website where it's also possible to easily plan, combine and book individual city breaks and vegan getaways. Enjoy! A link to the website will be available in the description of this podcast series.